Okay. An older candidate is not looked at attractively by a business school. So okay. Younger is okay. Older is kind of not very okay because they think you're too senior. What do you have to done anyway? You know, you've done everything. You know, that's the problem. Yeah. Have. Not that. Okay. You know, being old is a problem. It's considered that you already know everything that we have to teach you. That's that's the understanding. Mm -hmm. How much time you had? Like this girl, they can take her. And then after she finishes her MBA, they can find a job for her where they, uh, where she gets about 150k per year or something. And that would be a jump for her. And for a senior professional, you know, I understand that there's India this transition in terms of salaries and all that. Okay, but if the transition were not there, they would be taking a senior position at 200k and then sending them out in a role that pays 150k. That that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I didn't get that point. I'm sorry. Your salary at entry end would be two hundred k, and the kind of job that they would find for you, your salary at exit would be one fifty k. Okay. Almost like they've kind of done all their best to pull you down. Typically, okay. Right? Okay. You have this India to the US or India to Canada or India to the uh, European school kind of translation also, which is why the salary might appear to be better. Yeah. But if that transition did not happen, right? In terms of how much are you getting for where you are positioned in your life? Mm. You would still be making a beginner salary, right? By being a post MBA guy, something like that. Okay. Okay. So that's the disconnect with older professionals. Nothing okay. Like okay. Uh, we have worked with the people in the world. So, like this girl who was a, a legal professional who negotiated with the FDA, she was probably like thirty two years old. Uh, I had another lady, the dentist was also like 32, 33, something like that. Maybe even 34, I think. She got a lot for it. Uh, so it's happened in the past. It's just, you know, it's just not the most common scenario, but it's something we need to work towards. That's the basic idea. Okay. You might want to look at executive programs given your age. Treatment. Okay. An executive program is where. Uh, you are expected to continue along the same lines. You are expected to continue in the same company, the same industry. Okay, okay, okay. Position, right? Okay, okay. So, uh, no drastic change in terms of industry or function. Okay. But there could be an expectation that you would be expected to take up senior leadership positions within the firm. Okay, okay. You would be managing large teams, you would be managing a line of business. Okay. Not immediately, but maybe over the next three to four years. That's a succession plan that has been outlined. Okay, okay. But you are in position to make use of it. And, you know, you are driving this by taking up for the executive program yourself. Right? Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. There are scenarios you could be looking at. So, this is one possible scenario. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, some executive programs might give you a GMAT waiver. Mm -hmm. Some executive programs might not. 